Hello, I'm Brendan Mattingly. I'm one of the teaching pros at Lakewood Country Club. And today I'm going to demonstrate a backhand slice. And it's going to be more of an offensive slice instead of a defensive slice so that the, we're going to knife that backhand, have the ball move through the court, and stay low so it's a harder ball for the opponent to attack. The grip, we want to have a continental grip. So this knuckle wants to be on the two bevel. The V of the hand wants to be right on top, so it's almost as if you're pounding a nail into the floor. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the contact point with the racket on the ball. So you would come up, the arm is here, the racket is up, there's a 45 degree angle, so that, it, just like the volley, so that as you come through then, you hit the flat, and then carve through. Now you'll notice my left hand, my left arm, extending back like this. When I finish, I want my shoulders to be parallel to my target. So it allows me to accelerate the racket, but yet keep the racket going in the path of my target for a longer period of time, which will give you more control and more pace to your shot. Okay, so we're going to show how to control that shot by either taking it cross court or down the line. The preparation is the exact same. The only difference is, is that if I'm going cross court, my contact point is a little bit more off my front foot and I'm hitting on the outside of the ball. As I come through, again, I'm hitting it dead square and then I'm gonna knife through it. If I'm going down the line, I may actually get it more off the inside of my foot and be here so that my racket can extend out to the target. Okay, so again, when you, when you, when you get your unit turned, you want to pull that shoulder back, you want to feel it in the lats, racket head up, and as you knife through, you're here, the left arm comes back, and my follow through, my shoulder should be parallel to my target. That allows the racket to go in the same path as my target for a longer period of time, increasing consistency and control. All right, now I'm going to hit a couple balls and I'm going to, first I'll go towards the orange, which will be the cross court shot, and then I'll go down the line to the yellow target, which will be the down the line. carve too much, the ball has a tendency to float, and it's too easy to attack. Right, now we'll go down the line. Contact point is a little later. Put my shoulders stay parallel to my target. I pull back, and now I take it down the line. Which is a much harder ball to attack. And that's how it's an offensive slice. It also works great for approach shots because your opponent has to hit that passing sh shot up at you and it's easier than to volley the ball away. So keep on knifing that backhand slice and uh, we'll see you out on the courts here at Lakewood.